This is Dan Gillespie from Newfangled Audio to tell you about the Elevate Mastering Limiter. Elevate is a professional mastering limiter based on the same auditory filter bank as our Equivocate Graphic EQ. By combining the auditory filter bank with artificial intelligence algorithms, Elevate allows you to naturally increase loudness while maintaining or improving dynamic perception. Elevate's most important controls are found on the main parameters page. The limiter section allows you to set a gain, speed, and ceiling control. The transient section allows you to emphasize transients, which then flow into a spectral clipper with a drive and shape parameter. The total gain added to Elevate is the sum of the gain and drive controls. Elevate uses the same filter bank as Equivocate, which technically makes it a multiband limiter. But instead of providing 26 different threshold, attack, and release controls, Elevate uses artificial intelligence algorithms to set the amount of gain, speed, and transient variation allowed in each band. Each band is allowed to adapt to its own signal to an extent set by the powerful adaptive gain, adaptive speed, and adaptive transient controls. When these controls are all turned down, Elevate acts as a single band limiter, but when these controls are turned up, Elevate's AI algorithms analyze the signal across all the bands and derive a gain signal for each band to create the most natural sounding output. All of Elevate's controls allow you to double click to type in a value, command click to fine tune a value, or option click to reset the control. Additionally, many controls have toggle buttons which allow you to turn them on or off. Turning off unused sections will reduce Elevate's CPU usage. Elevate uses an auditory filter bank to convert the input signal into a number of output streams which are then analyzed by the adaptive algorithms, processed independently and summed together at the end. The filter bank page allows you to modify these audio streams to best fit your audio material. You may solo one or multiple bands, change the filter frequencies, or change the number of bands entirely. If needed, reducing the number of bands used in Elevate is another good way to reduce its overall CPU usage. The Limiter EQ module provides the same limiter gain and adaptive gain controls found on the main parameters page. It adds individual gain parameters for each band. This allows you to compensate for any tonal changes that might happen while limiting, or add tonal correction to your final master. The band sliders in the Limiter EQ page also show the input, output, and gain reduction amount for each band, and give the same draw curve options and key commands supported by Equivocate. In the final master, it often sounds better to clip transients than to limit them. The transient emphasis module sits after the limiter to emphasize these transients before the final spectral clipper stage. The transient module provides the same transient emphasis and adaptive transient controls found on the main parameters page. It also adds individual transient emphasis sliders for each band, as well as meters to show the amount of transient emphasis per band. Using the adaptive transient control, you can see the separate emphasis of the kick and snare, and by increasing it to 100%, you can see each band working totally independently. As the last processing stage in Elevate, the Spectral Clipper allows you to clip the transients without changing their tonal signature. You can also overdrive the final master for additional gain and to add pleasing harmonic distortion that can help an aggressive mix stand out. The dynamic clipper display shows how the shape of the clipper is affected by the drive and shape controls, and how it is affecting the audio. Elevate has input and output meters which show the peak and RMS levels, as well as a meter which shows the total gain reduction being applied in the plugin. There is an input level control which allows you to compensate for very loud or very quiet inputs, and an option to auto compensate the output level. When auto compensate is on, the added gain and drive is offset by a reduction in the overall output level. This makes it easy to compare the affected and unaffected sound honestly, and to get a sense of what Elevate is doing to your master. If needed, you can switch the output level to a manual mode. Elevate also provides three meters to help visualize its processes. By default, the center section is set to gain reduction, which displays the gain waveforms applied to each band by the limiter and transient emphasis sections. You can either spread these waveforms vertically or stack them on top of each other. When the gain waveform is high, the transient emphasis module is emphasizing the transient, and when it is low, the limiter is applying gain reduction. By selecting the filter bank meter, we can also view the input level, output level, and gain reduction across the bands. Finally, by selecting the input-output meter, we can see a waveform display of the input level and output level superimposed on each other. This will show the input level, the output level, when the input is greater than the ceiling, and how much gain is being applied all at once. 
Elevate has many presets showing how different users have used it to master their tracks. When previewing these presets, the Gain Lock feature helps you make consistent comparisons by forcing all presets to load with the same amount of level increase. If needed, you can enter the settings page to globally turn off the OpenGL metering or to apply dither to your final output. Elevate is a powerful limiter with many features, but its auditory filter bank and unique artificial intelligence algorithms allow you to get a professional master quickly and easily. Please try Elevate on your own music, and we believe you'll find it to be simply the best mastering limiter available.